Welcome back to the channel, everybody. This one's personally very exciting for me because over the years, I have made like 650 YouTube videos, uh, probably 750 videos in total. And over that process, I've gotten a lot of different cameras. I've learned a lot, you know, video editing, lighting, uh, photography. You're not just doing rock hounding and lapidary and mineralogy stuff. There's a whole production side that I never really talk about. Today though, I'm talking about it because I have finally been able to take a macro photo of, of a teeny tiny, teeny tiny little mineral, this thing right here, and uh, make it big enough and high enough quality to print it. This thing right here. Look, look at that. Well, let's see, let's not do glare. Look at that. Okay, you, what you're looking at is a rather large image of something that is across 15 millimeters. And I think I'm pretty happy with it. Let's take a look at this picture here real quick. And uh, you can see the depth of this, the depth of this image. What you're looking at here is quartz from the Price Chopper Occurrence. And uh, this is the highest quality image that I have ever taken. Um, I'm very happy with it. Obviously, I printed it, I printed it. Um, let's look though at some of the progression and I'm gonna share with you how I took this photo. This right here, <laughs> hard to see, hard to see, is a piece of anal seam, which is a zeolite and Sarah found this at the Wawa Wee road cut in Washington State. Uh, going back several years, this was the highest quality image of it that I was capable of taking with my current setup. And yes, we can see the structure of this. We can tell what it is. However, there is chromatic aberration. It's not a print worthy photo. And here today, I was able to take this photo. And uh, keep in mind, the mineral you're looking at is 1.4 millimeters. This is extremely small. This is a very, very, very small specimen. And to be able to take a photo of this quality level uh, makes me very happy. Um, you know, is there room to progress in this and uh, increase the quality of it? Absolutely, absolutely there is. But let's talk about the quartz that I took an image of. I'm gonna share with you my, my setup. This is primarily constructed out of 2020 aluminum, which I, if you're unfamiliar, this is 2020 aluminum. And it's kind of like an erector set for adults. Basically, we have aluminum and uh, there's little joints and different brackets that lock everything together. So you can kind of just cut this to whatever you want and uh, make whatever you want. And in this case, I made this frame right here. And on this frame, I will have my camera, which obviously I'm filming on right now, which is a Sony ZV-E10 with an, with an 11 millimeter lens. I do not use the 11 millimeter lens though for the stacking portion. So this rail system can go up and down here. We can um, unlock this and slide this up and down however we like. It locks in place. Obviously a camera is attached here. XYZ platform at the bottom that the mineral goes on and we can make fine, fine lifts to the elevation of this. And uh, with each change, we take a picture. With this setup, there is a very, very thin depth of the field. So you only get to see a tiny portion of the mineral all at once. We're going to use software and we're going to stack the in-focus portion of the image. And uh, it's just that simple. The lens that I'm using, which makes all of this possible, is this. I bought a 2 to 1 image production on the 2 to 1 ratio image production on the sensor of the camera. Uh, this is a Lawau 65mm 2.8 lens. I'm going to show you what this looks like all set up here. Then we're going to go take a picture of something and I think it's going to come out beautifully. I'm on my cell phone now. You can see the little XYZ platform with a specimen on it. That lens on the camera. 
This allows me to change the angle of the camera, pitching side to side. I can coarsely adjust the height of it. I can lock this down. It's just perfect. It is like such an excellent, excellent setup, and I'm very happy with it. So, why would we want to spend so much time and money and effort looking at these things so that we can take these types of pictures here? Well, that's real simple. Um, the world of mineralogy and mineral collecting is best explored through tiny, tiny specimens, in my opinion. So let's go set all of this stuff up in the office and take a picture. So we're going to take a picture of that little ball of Thompsonite from the Beach Creek Quarry. Everything is all set up here. So I'm going to turn my little indicator here. And uh, with each turn, hands off, take a picture with my remote, <laughs> and we'll uh, go from being out of focus to in focus to back out of focus, and we'll have a whole ton of images to work with. That little blue ball there is the Thompsonite. Keep in mind that this is about two millimeters across and I took 104 photos of it. I then put that into my image stacking software which progressively goes through all the pictures, selects the in focus part of each picture and stitches it all together so that I can have one image that is fully in focus and then with a little bit of photo editing to get it to match my eye we are left with this picture right here and uh, it is quite a large photo as well and that allows me to crop in if i so choose or in some cases uh you know i'm capable of printing an image just like this uh, which is really great that's fantastic and you know it opens up a world of mineralogy that is hard to share. You know, I can see these things with my eyes through the microscope. It's a whole other thing to be able to share them here with you in a video like this. It, if you're into rocks, minerals, those things, primarily minerals, well, you know that they can get very expensive very fast if you want to get something that's like hold in your hands, you know? Um, and a lot of them don't even occur in those types of sizes. So if you want to learn about minerals, you wanna collect small minerals, having a microscope is a great first step, and then uh, eventually building something kind of like this. Um, you know, there's no macro image setup such as this that you can be like, add to cart and check out. This is something that you have to just envision over time. My system here will continue to progress, and maybe some point in the future I'll be able to afford a even better camera, and I can take higher high resolution images and you know like have bigger and bigger prints so i hope you enjoyed this this is something that i've been working up to for years and years to be able to have something like this be able to have something like this and uh share with you these beautiful teeny tiny minerals like this ball of thompsonite that i collected out at the beach creek quarry well Thank you, everybody. Go check out the website, currentlyrockhounding.com, and I will catch you in the next video.